is the decorated kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Makaha, Hawaii, Yancy Madeiros. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. And they separate. Just unable to quite find that range. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 
Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with beating. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Left hand punch from the clinch. Vintage Randy Couture stuff here. The dirty boxing is there. Ooh, Ooh. Yeah, it looks a little rocky on the speed. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Nice punch by Medeiros. Oh, single collar tie here. My goodness. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh! Got the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Nice head kick. Nice punch there. Oh, massive kick to the body. He blocks the punch. attempt just misses Come on, man. oh man this guy kicks like oh, oh. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Lands the right hand. Blocks the shot. Medeiros' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Nice strike. Trying to establish that jab once again. Medeiros gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. 15 seconds to go. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Medeiros gets hit by that leg kick. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tides of this fight. Second round underway. Medeiros' strike attempt there is blocked. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line.
going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Big punch from the clinch. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. There's no kill on that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Madaris's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. How about that shin? Oh, he's got it going tonight. Oh, and he's got him right here. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. That strike blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. It can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in rush. So there it is, DC, the fighter with the longer reach, able to counter flush with a straight punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Whoa! Use hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. And that he comes knee. through with a big that hit. He hurt him. Body. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Now he's got the Muay Thai drop. by that leg kick attempt. Oh, straight right. Muay Thai plump. And they separate. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. 20 seconds to go round two. strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. 
Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just rolling like crazy in that previous one. They both came with an idea that they were collecting 50,000 extra dollars. And right now, I am certain that they're both going to receive that check. Here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Close guard. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Medeiros. And he's back up. So he's really starting to put together some significant bodies. Oh! 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 Diving punch lands. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. He loaded up there on that high kick. Effective punch there. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left hook there. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, but even with the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Oh, Look at him whip his hip into that kick. to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Bing has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 41 seconds of the third round. Declare the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the 